It's getting dark. Perhaps we should make camp here. Yes, in the middle of the road where it's inconvenient to everyone. Hey, Luca. You know how you're always in charge of our meals? How about letting me cook for a change? I want to eat Luca's cooking, though. Luca's great. It'll suck if anyone else cooks. Gah! Oof, I'm stuffed. Good food tastes so much better after a long day's walk. Perhaps traveling on the surface isn't so bad after all. I'm full as well. I'm completely satisfied. I got to eat a lot to keep up my strength in order to beat the crap out of my mother in the four heavenly nights. Grrr. It's still a bit early to go to bed. Maybe I should spend some time with my companions before turning in. We have a lot of companions. I wonder what became of the angels in this world. Were most of them caught up in the annihilation of heaven and destroyed? You have a smile on your face. According to Ilias, the seven archangels don't exist in this world. That makes me wonder if they exist in the original history. If not, then the world I'm from would also be a parallel world that deviated from the original history. Yes, that would seem to be the case. I wonder if my mother traveled this very road with your father and Uncle Lazarus. And yeah, Merlin, don't forget Merlin. If they came to Grand No, then they probably did. It's possible they made camp in this exact spot. I don't actually know how far their party made it. I'm pretty sure they reached Gullport. They reached all the way to the Monster Lord Continent, but never made it to the castle. Lazarus won't ever tell me much of anything about their travels. What it was like, where they went, nothing. Why was he so stubborn about opening up? I don't think he was keeping secrets, was he? Must have been a rough adventure, considering what happened to his arm. He just didn't want to rehash bad memories. As if Uncle Lazarus is that emotional. You seem pretty emotional to me. Hey, so about the assassination attempt on His Holiness the Pope, do you think Uncle was the ringleader? You denied it yourself, didn't you? He's not the nicest guy, but I'd have to go that far. I want to believe him, but there's so much he's hiding. He seems pretty well connected to the underworld, too. It was indeed Lazarus. But, though he Luca, he believes in Lazarus. I believe Lazarus. Right. We got to believe him. Uncle looks like a bad guy, so it's really easy to misunderstand him. If we get a break, let's go talk to him together. Even if he wasn't connected to the assassination attempt, he might know something. Alright, when the time comes, my father can come with us. After this is all over, my father should return home. With him at our side, even Lazarus should open up to us. Luca, let's save the world together. And when this is all over, let's return to Iliusville, okay? Of course! Right. Hero Luca, have you given any thought to your future about this after this journey? Have you considered becoming a cog in the machine? I mean, a knight of the temple? <clears throat> Me? A knight? With your talent, I bet you could even make knight commander. Just something to keep in mind. After this adventure, huh? Never even thought about that. Yeah. The world won't quite be the same after this adventure, that's for sure. I get to see Dini! Yay! This will be so fun! It pains me to see children fleeing the horrors of war and becoming refugees. I'd love to save some, save them all somehow. 
Yetsu Senpai, where there's so many trees in the No region? Well, you see, it's because the goddess of the land in the No region loves climbing trees. You're so smart, Kitsu Senpai. You know everything. <laughs> Hop, hop. We got a new night spring. It's full of my slime friends. So happy. Gonna be so fun. Yay. Yay. For what purpose was Hilt created? Will I learn the answer on this adventure? You surely will. No matter why Hild was created, Hild is greatly enjoying traveling with Luca. This is the kind of adventure I've always dreamed of. Though, heading into Grand Noah, this is no time to be cheery. They're at war, so we better be ready to fight. to go to Yonatai Village. I haven't been home in a long time. Hey, after we take care of business, can we pay a visit? It's a really great place. I actually used to live in the Grand... I actually used to live in Grand Noah. The Coliseum was so much fun. Naturally, I placed bets on who would win. But I went on a cold street. Couldn't pay up and I had to skip town. Of course. I don't want to be like her. <laughs> I'm going to sort through the clouds one day, I swear! I need much, much more practice to become one of the world's leading smiths. I'll make an awesome sword for you too, Luca. Thanks, I'll look forward to it. And now it might be a good place to open my own store. Networking among monsters is popular, and the infrastructure here is excellent. Those wires are so clean. It's perfect for doing laundry. Those pots are very nice. I wonder if the clay they use here is different. Probably. Nothing back here. Nope. We have never Naruko on the alias route. <laughs> You know, adventuring is actually rather fun. It's quite a different experience compared to looking down from above. Walking the earth on my own feet, smiting monsters with my own hands, stuffing my empty belly with food, resting my very body. To be honest, this isn't bad at all. Yeah, I noticed you haven't been whining as much. I never whine! S sorry Looking back, it's possible that I was being too impatient. Too impatient about what? Never mind, just talking to myself. Anyway, when you change your viewpoint, you can see things you couldn't previously. It seems so obvious now. Alright, creatures of this planet, I shall permit you all to live your lives to your to their fullest. How magnanimous of her. Hey! Compared to what she was before, this is a literal godsend. <laughs> to think all Ilias had to do was to lose a little bit of her power to get a bit of humility. Ah, it's true. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Yeah, it's supposedly been 30 years since I was last seen, and yet humanity is doing well, are they not? Even without their goddess, people continue to thrive. It makes me happy, but sad at the same time. And here I am, the people's forgotten goddess, eating with my companions and camping out, looking up at the starry sky. But I'm not despondent about that at all. Perhaps this is what it means to be alive. I'm not sure either, but I think you're right. I feel like you're much more full of life now than when we first met. I've come to realize a great many things since I stepped down from my seat in heaven. Luca, please continue to enlighten me. It's a deal. 
Let's stick together! It's an odd journey, traveling the world with a fallen goddess. What could possibly await us at the end of it? Pure insanity, that's what. Alright. Still a bit early to sleep. If you cannot sleep yet, then I shall bestow a new skill upon you. Awesome! Thank you! I'll teach you a high-ranking angel skill this time. Given your lineage, it should be possible for you. Okay, I work hard at. That's we begin a special training session. Focus my clear mind on my chest. Ha! That's it! Release the holy power all at once. Purifying light should mow down the evil that lurks around you. We can learn purifying light. How can I use these holy skills so easily? My mother was an angel, right? Yes, it's about time I told you. It's true that your mother was an angel, but she wasn't some mere cherub. She is one of the original and strongest angels. The Seraph Lucifer herself was her was your mother. Your mother was one of the original angels? That's right. Michaela and Lucifina were sisters created as copies of myself. From the third on, I diverted and projected energy and resources from this planet to increase the protection of angels. Michaela and Lucifina are therefore different from the third and later angels. Just having a small portion of myself made them the strongest of all angels. It's hard to believe my mother was such an amazing angel. At any rate, those two seraphs are already deceased. And as I am now, I like the power to create new angels. I'm getting tired. Alright, time for bed then. Time got away from me while we were talking. Thus, we all head to bed. Alright, we got Naruko. Cute, cute! Do nothing. We got the rest of the imp party. Uh, I found this. Ray Potain. And other than that, it's just Alice herself. Just what is my mother thinking? Why in the world would she dispose me and retake the throne? Based on what Astaroth said, it sounds like those three Succubi sisters have joined forces with your mother. Yeah, no doubt. How could they be, possibly be scheming together? Meddling with human royal families and destabilizing their kingdoms, annihilating entire villages. My mother is complicit in their actions. She hated barbaric acts like that most of all, though. She loved peace so much, so why? Astaroth did claim they were fighting to save the world. It doesn't look like they're doing anything but pushing the world off the rails. But if even my mother is taking part, there has to be some reason for it. My mother would never condone such brutality without sufficient cause. Perhaps the Succubi sisters are just acting in accordance with this correct history we keep hearing about. Or at least as close as I can get or something. I've considered that, but I still think their level of violence is going too far. I can't imagine the correct history involves destruction of this magnitude. At any rate, something's missing. We don't have enough information yet. We should learn more as our adventure continues, at least. You're certainly right. By the end of this journey, we'll get all the answers. I pursue my mother while you pursue your father. It's a queer twist of fate we find ourselves together, now that I think about it. We're both being manipulated by our parents with practically no explanations. Let's stick together, Luca. I'll figure this all out. Save the world, 
and smack our parents in the face. All right. Wait, I don't actually want to smack my father in the face, though. The mystery behind my father and the crisis our world faces. We should find the answers to our questions if we continue on. It's still a bit early to sleep. If you're looking for something to do, I can instruct you on a new sword skill that should let you put the power of wind to use. Wind element sword skill? Yes, please! Thus we begin the special training session. I see, so it goes like this! Hmm, pretty good. It's a quick, powerful skill against a single foe, but it does consume both SP and MP. Luca learned Lightning Sword Flash. You have quite the aptitude for monster skills, considering how easily you pick them up. Are you considering becoming a monster swordsman? That might not be a bad idea. How can I become a monster swordsman, though? Becoming a monster swordsman requires monster power, which only the monster lord can grant. I could have done it before, but as I am now... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to bring that up. I better change the subject. Speaking of monster swordsmen, Grand Barrio was one of your lieutenants, wasn't she? Grand Barrio was one of my four heavenly knights from the outset. They're the monster lord's most trusted vassals, but she is loyal to my mother now. Grand Barrio appears to have fought with Pamphys the 17th at my mother's command. That makes me think she's being used to take out any powerful opposition. She's a soldier who would never betray her master. If she considered the succession of the title of Monster Lord to be legitimate, she'd offer her loyalty to Mother. Does that mean she probably has no idea that you're still alive? That's a very likely possibility. If she learns I'm alive, she might come over to our side. No, that's just wishful thinking. Well, what about the other three knights? Alma Alma is too unpredictable, so I can't even guess what she's up to. I doubt even my mother has her in line. Here, Betty has a rational way of thinking. As long as it isn't against the interests of the slime race, she'll obey the monster lore. To Momo. She is in charge of my mother's education. She's older than your mother? Myself included, she's been in charge of educating monster lords for generations. Even I don't really know how old she is. Anyway, this is mere conjecture, but I have a hunch she's involved in my mother's retaking of the throne. I think I'm right, but I don't know for sure. What the hell is that Kitsune planning? As our adventure continues, it's possible we'll eventually have to fight them. Yeah, we probably won't be able to avoid a fight. They aren't opponents to be taken lightly, so we better train hard. That goes for me, too. This isn't the time to act self-important. I need to find a way to return to my normal self as soon as possible. We have to find the White Rabbit. Well, I'm sure she'll end up appearing for us even if we can't find her. Indeed, her role is to guide me, after all. We'll eventually catch her and make her cough up everything she knows. It's getting late. We should get some sleep for tomorrow. Oh, you're right. It'll be another long day of adventuring. Good night. Time got away from me while we were talking. Thus, we all head to bed. It's so lonely on the Sonya this route. We only got a few companions. Alright. Alright. Next time we will pick up in Grand Noah. Until then.